In this screencast, I will demonstrate the initial install of the OpenVPN Access Server. We will start by opening our SSH client. In this case, I will be using PuTTY, a free SSH client for Windows. And I will connect up to the host that I am running OpenVPN Access Server on. And I'll be prompted to enter credentials. In this case, I'm going to enter the root credentials. And we'll then have a command prompt, and we'll be running a wget command to grab the correct package for our distribution. Now, the distribution that I'm running this on is uh, CentOS 5 on a x86 64-bit edition, so I will grab that corresponding package. And as we wait for this to download, I'll let you know that the next command we're going to run is the rpm-i command to install the rpm package for OpenVPN Access Server. Almost there. Okay, I'm now going to copy the package name, type rpm-i and paste the package name there, press enter. Some machines it'll take longer to install, other machines it'll go fairly quick. Just depends on the hardware specs you have on your machine. And then after this we'll be running our OVPN init script, which is the initial configuration utility for OpenVPN Access Server. If you just install it and you don't run that script, you won't have a functional OpenVPN Access Server. You need to run this line right here. computer and we will first be prompted with the agreement I'll type yes to accept and with this installation I'll just go through all the defaults that we use and port 943 is the default port for the admin UI and the web UI so this is what you'll connect to to access the client side and the admin side for configuring the OpenVPN access server and we'll just use the normal TCP port number for the daemon, which is 443. And all client traffic, so this is all internet traffic. If we want it routed or not through the VPN, I'll just let it select yes. And this is also um, a question of whether you want to expose your the default private subnets that the RFC 1918 lists, which is the 10.16 subnet, the 172 subnet, and the 198 subnet and I'll go ahead and select that and this will be the credentials you use when you first log into the admin UI and I'll just go ahead and let it choose my root credentials and if you have a license key that you either purchased or a free license key that you want to enter this is this would be the place you can add it if you don't want to add it to the CLI you could go ahead and add it at the admin UI as well you'll still be able to access the admin UI if you do not enter the license key so that shouldn't be a problem We'll now get the uh, status of all the databases and certificates that are being generated after we go through that list of commands. And you'll know that you set this up properly if you get this page. And I'll now go over to this link to show you that the admin UI will in fact work. Open my Internet Explorer window here. And I'll, I went ahead and copied that link that they listed on that page. Continue to this website. And I'm going to log into the admin part. You'll notice up here it has admin after this name. If you don't have admin here, it will bring you straight to the client UI where your clients can go and download the client that they wish to use on their machines. Root. And here we go. This is the first screen you will see after you successfully installed the OpenVPN Access Server. I hope this was of help, and I'll talk to you soon in support.